weekend in celebrity news, but we want to kick off the skinny with a possible new career for McDreamy. Actor Patrick Dempsey participating in the famous 24-hour Le Mans endurance auto race in France over the weekend. It was actually his fourth time driving in the race, which involves teams of four taking turns for 24 hours straight. And he might just have a future in motorsports. Team McDreamy came in second in their category, so congrats to the Grey's Anatomy star. All right, well, other A-listers didn't have quite that memorable a weekend. Let's get you caught up with a skinny weekend roundup. First, John Stamos busted for DUI in Beverly Hills. He was taken to the hospital. He was okay. He tweeted his appreciation to the Beverly Hills PD for the whole thing. And he is set to appear in the upcoming Fuller House on Netflix. And then next up, the awesomeness of Foo Fighters rocker Dave Grohl, who broke his leg on stage in Sweden, returned to the stage an hour later with a full cast and played for two and a half hours okay. more. And the next day, more rock and roll danger. That is five seconds of summer guitarist Michael Clifford being burned by pyrotechnics that were a part of the show. The 19-year-old Ozzy posted his thumbs up pic on Facebook. Despite that big old bandage, he says, He's actually doing all right. Ouch. Toughing through it. These Ouch. rockers, man. Ouch. Well, John Stamos, not the only Full House alum to make the skinny today. We take it to the Hamptons for a 29th birthday blowout like no other. The Olsen twins clearly having an amazing time <laughs> at their Olympic-themed birthday. The smiles you can see oh, right yes. there. The excitement. So oh, wait. Th so thrilled. All right. Well, yeah, let's check out Mary-Kate. Sort of, sort, sort of, of breaking a smile. That's more of a smile than her twin there. All like right. A half smile, right? <laughs> Happy birthday to both talented ladies, nonetheless. But it's a birthday party. Why are they at least smile for the picture at your birthday maybe party? Maybe it's like a thing. It's like an inside joke that we don't get. Maybe. Perhaps, don't perhaps. Well, it is good to be Channing Tatum. The magic Mike hunk seems to find a party wherever he goes. Follows him. And yesterday, that meant one of LA's biggest parties, the Gay Pride Parade, where he found his way onto one of the floats, getting his groove on to the sweet beats. There he is, but perhaps disappointing a ton of people in the crowd. Because <laughs> look, he's fully cloaked. It's unacceptable. <laughs> Not like his shirtless moves in Magic Mike XXL, which comes out in just 16 days. Not that any of us are counting. Yeah, Not that any counting. of us are waiting to, maybe that's why he kept the shirt on, saying if you want to see the topless version, you got to buy a ticket and it's go to the movie. It's a PR move, you know? Apparently. Give you a little bit, you got to come back for more. Still disappointing nonetheless. <laughs> All right, and finally, you were catching, uh, you were catching, watching on Friday, I should say. You saw one of our biggest polkas ever. This is awesome. <laughs> Kermit the Frog dropped by to perform with Barry Mitchell. And the famous frog even tweeted about his time with us. He said Barry's accordion and his own banjo were a match made in heaven. <laughs> You can see it again on our website. This was awesome. A, a friend of mine sent me a message on Facebook and said, please buy this guy a beer and send me the bill because this is the best thing ever. And Kermit has a lot of fans. In my newsroom, everyone ran up to take pictures with them when they were filming this. It's just awesome. Millions. Everybody loves Kermit.